Welcome to techiv.com channel, your solution providers. I am Ben and in this video I will be showing you how to create a smoke effect using Adobe After Effects. First of all create a new comp, then create a new solid. In the effects and presets type particle playground. Now zoom into your timeline, drag the slider and you will see a few red particles popping up from the center and falling down. We will be using these particles to generate a smoke effect. Now in the effects and controls tab, you can see various tabs. We say Canon, Grid, Layer Explorer. We will see step by step that what all these do. Now see what Canon is. Canon is basically the point from which particles originate. As you can see, that I have dragged the cannon to the bottom and at this point the particles are emerging. Now if we increase the barrel radius you will see that the radius of the barrel or the point from which the particles will originate is now increased. Now let's see a few more properties and see how we can create a smoke effect from it. Particles per second are the number of particles which will be shooted from the barrel. Let's bring back the barrel to zero. Direction is the angle at which it will shoot the particles. Velocity is the velocity at which it will shoot the particles and random velocity is the random velocity of the particles at which they will spread. Change the color to white. Now. As you can see that the particles are falling down, so there is a gravity effect. We have to nullify it. Go to the gravity and change the force to negative so that the particle moves in opposite direction of the gravity. Now go to your effects and presets and type in fast blur. Drag it onto your window and increase the blurriness so that it looks like a smoke. Now you can see that it is a smoke that originates from a point and moves upwards. You can vary all these properties to make it more realistic. Now what if we want this smoke to move in a particular direction or move along a wall? To change the direction, simply change the direction from here or if you want to change the direction of a smoke in the middle of the screen. We will create a wall for that. Choose the pen tool and create a random mask. Now open the wall panel and choose mask 1. Now you will see that as smoke goes up, it strikes the wall and moves along it. You can add various more effects like this. Like you can change the gravity. If you increase the gravity it means that the smoke will move upward with more velocity and now after striking the wall the effect is a little different. Now you see that the, as the smoke moves up along, effect is little different from the previous gravity value. You can change the direction by changing the direction of the gravity. In the Canon tab, you can vary the particle radius too. If you increase the velocity, you will notice that when it strikes the wall, it moves fast. To turn off this wall, simply go to the wall, go to the boundary and make it none. And now it will move upwards. Thank you for watching this video. Please click the subscribe button or visit techiv.com channel to ask any questions if you have any queries.